Pittsburgh's Action News 4 begins with breaking news. They're masked and armed. That was the 911 call that police say they responded to involving four men allegedly threatening people at a house in Monroeville. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Mike Valenti joins us live from the Monroeville Police Department tonight. And Mike, this was just the beginning of a chaotic series of events. Yeah, that's exactly right. This call sparked a chain of events that ended up affecting quite a number of drivers at one of the busiest intersections in our area. So the man on your screen is one of four men police say are in custody tonight after a disturbance call on Coleman Drive. The people who called 911 told dispatchers those men were wearing masks and had guns. When police arrived, they say the men tried to get away in a white pickup truck. Officers tried to block the truck in but they say the driver backed out, sideswiped an unmarked police car and hit another vehicle. Now, not long after that, police chief Doug Cole tells me the truck was heading northbound onto Route 48 and then ends up colliding with two other vehicles at that intersection of 48 and 22. Cole says two people in those other cars were hurt and taken to Forbes Hospital with what's being described as non life threatening injuries. The men then allegedly ran away, but were caught in surrounding neighborhoods within the next five to 10 minutes. We have arrest warrants and search warrants to get done. Um, uh, we have the vehicle obviously uh, uh, detained, okay. uh, secured, I should say, and uh, um, we will hopefully, well, we will be filing charges tonight. But as I said, of those four suspects, at least two of them have warrants on them. Long night for police and surrounding bystanders who happen to witness and get entangled in all of this. We don't yet have the names of the men in question or the charges that are pending. Cole also added that the people that made that 911 call outside the house on Coleman Drive, they actually did know some of the suspects. We're live in Monroeville tonight. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.